Hey, this is the day the Lord has made, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hello there. Good day, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, wherever you are under the sound of my voice. I bring you greetings in Jesus' name. I want you to know that God has been so good to you, and we have every reason and every cause to thank Him. So let us just lift up our voice and just give him thanks all right just give him thanks for all that he has done and still doing in our lives father we thank you this day wherever your people are and tuning in this moment i commit them all into your hands and um, i pray that you meet them at the point of their needs spirit of the living god we're about to talk about you gossip about you discuss you for you to enlighten us uh, so that we can increase in all and every area of our lives. Move like never before, granting us the understanding that we need so that we cannot be destroyed. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are, it is time for the Word of God to bring us to that place of enlightenment so that we can no longer be... Um, we can no longer be people with no understanding. All right? Um, we've been talking, I've been talking and discussing with you concerning um, the, the fact that we have moved and no longer, no longer living under the old law, under the old dispensation. We are in the new dispensation of grace. Now, how do we understand the grace and how do we know um, who is helping us and all that. And so we've been looking at some scriptures that is helping us, biblical scriptures, because all our doing must be biblically based. Beloved, if not, we will be assuming all kinds of things and falling into the hands of the enemy to tell us and lead us into areas where it looks like even God, but it's not. We are very. We are living in a very, very serious and dangerous times. And I use the word dangerous in a sense that Scripture says that even the elect, elect may be swayed. It it looks so close. It looks it looks very, very godly, but it may not be it if you don't discern it by the Spirit. And so Scripture says for us to test all spirits. In other words. We have the Holy Spirit who is with us, yet there are other spirits. Are you listening? There are other spirits. Yes, we see that in the book of Revelations, where Revelations chapter 12, it tells us how Satan was defeated and cast down to the earth. And since he's been down to the earth, other, other angels, fallen angels, who have now become demons, came down with him. So these are all spirits. Are you listening? And so if you're not careful... If you're not careful, you will fall into um, something that you you are not, you you know, it may look like God, but it's not God. And this is why you have to have the Holy Spirit in you, with you and in you, so that he can lead you into all truth. Remember, that's what Jesus promised you and I, that when the Holy Spirit is come, he will lead you into all truth. Why? Because there are other spirits who are operating and uh, manipulating the lives of of uh, people including christians and so it's very important for you and i to understand that ladies and gentlemen we are talking about the times we are living in that has nothing to do with church it has everything to do with your salvation it has everything to do with where you spend eternity it has it has everything to do with your relationship with the master are you listening and so we are talking about something that is so important in the life of you, the believer. Okay, uh, let me just acknowledge some of you. Um, Linda, God bless you for tuning in. Isaac, God bless you. Hello to you, Linda, as well. Um, so this is, this is something that I want you to understand that we are living in the times that all kinds of spirits are here. And so... If you don't have the Holy Spirit with you, you will not be able to discern. Beloved, there's no way. Don't let anybody fool you that you can test, you can see that this one is not of God or this one is. 
All right, and that is why scripture tells you and I that we should even test all spirit. How do we test all spirit? By getting in the word of God. Because the word of God will lead us and tell us and show us and give us that signals of knowing the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, and that which is not the Holy Spirit. Are you listening to me? So it's very important for you and I to understand this and uh, live a life of getting closer to the Holy Spirit. Now, I want to um, ask to look into some scriptures because all that we, we are talking here has to be biblically based. Biblically based. First of all, we, have, we are now in the dispensation of grace. God's grace. However, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is here to help us in every area of our lives. However, if we don't walk with Him, if we don't, you know, live with Him, if He doesn't, if He's not working through us, um, then we are doing everything in our own ability, you know, that our own performance. And uh, if we want to do that to get the attention of God, it's wrong. It's wrong. I, I was hearing something about. Um, uh, Donna's God bless you. I was hearing something about um, what you have to do for God to make you a millionaire, and I'm saying, really, what do you have to do? Um, that 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 would have been in the old dispensation, in the old testament, or in the old covenant. That is when it was your ability, your performance, gets the attention of God for God to release His blessings. But we are not living in that old dispensation anymore. We are living in this new covenant. The covenant where Jesus has done everything, all right? In that three years, he did everything, nearly to the cross. And now it's up to you to believe, to receive it, to believe it, to receive it, and it's yours. Are you listening? And so it's not about your performance anymore to get the attention of God. It's about what Jesus has done and you receiving it because you believe it, all right? So that is the difference now. Now, Jesus then promised us the Holy Spirit that when he leaves, the Holy Spirit will come to be with us and help us in every area of our lives. Now, the Holy Spirit has come. We see evidence, facts, factual evidence of that um, from the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem until now, until now, we've seen it. Now, there are so many other, other spirits, okay, other spirits that are also operating in the shadow of the Holy Spirit. Okay, you see that, you hear and see that there's always some people who are acting as, just just name it, you know, watch it, God bless you. Uh, keep doing the good work you are doing, all right? Now, you see that there are other people who are acting also like somebody. For example, let's say that um, um, you are, you, you've become famous, okay, very famous and people know of you and all that. There is somebody who is also going around acting. For example, remember those days where Michael Jackson, you know, he was alive and all that. People were dressing and acting like him and all that. It's the same thing in the realms of the spirit. The spiritual atmosphere that we, we don't see with our naked eyes. Okay, we have the Holy Spirit who is here helping us in every area of our lives as Jesus promised us. Okay, however, there are also other spirits. These are the spirits, like I said, in Revelation 12, they were fallen angels who were cast out of heaven with Satan, Lucifer. So they are here on this earth. If I want you to go there and read it yourself. All right. And so they are here acting. Okay. In uh, in uh, in um, in a fashion and in a form like of the whole, like the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth, and so they are also imitating the things of God and presenting it to those who do not have the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm not talking about church. You can be sitting in church, going to church every day, but without having the Holy Spirit with you and in you. You will be, you know, you will be scammed by, not by all these spirits, okay? Because scripture says that 
there comes where the, the Satan even appears like the angel of light. Are you listening? And so there are all these spirits also manipulating and operating, okay, like the Holy Spirit. Now, beloved, these spirits, okay, these spirits um, have the attributes that is of the flesh. The Holy Spirit is of the things of God. The things of God are not the things of the flesh. They are not the things of flesh. And so if you if you are seeing that you are you are being lewd or you are being led towards the things of the flesh, that is a signal for you to know that these this is not a spirit of God. And we're going to be looking at some scriptures. Are you listening? Very, very important. Because Listen, I am more concerned about your heaven than the church you are attending right now. That is what my ministry is about. That is what I am sent to come and do. To, to inform you, to bring you this caution, this word, to let you see the difference between the Holy Spirit and any other spirits operating uh, uh, in, your, in your current dispensation of this grace. Are you listening? And so we have received the Holy Spirit. Now, if you have received the Holy Spirit, then watch out, watch out, therefore, for the attributes of the Holy Spirit and other attributes that does not correspond with the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, I title today's um, segment as the flesh and the spirit cannot coexist. The same way as... The, uh, the law and the grace, the law and grace, the law of the past covenant, the grace of this current covenant, they cannot coexist. The flesh and the spirit cannot coexist. So, so watch yourself and see if you are living and doing things in the flesh or you are living and doing things in the spirit. And also, more so, watch what kind of spirit operating through you you got to be very careful about that as well so i want to take you to the word of god so you can see this for yourself first of all those who have received the holy spirit okay this is the word for you for us we have received the holy spirit now why because the holy spirit is come to be with us he is with us are you listening he is with us now so we have to hold on fast to what we have received according to galatians chapter 5 verse 1 okay let's read that turn your bibles if you don't have your bibles right now if you don't have your bibles just write it down and please check this very important all right okay now verse 1 says stand fast hold fast okay stand fast stand fast or hold fast therefore in the liberty by which christ has made us free Stand fast, hold fast, okay, in the liberty for which Christ Jesus has made us free. You are free. If you are free, then hold on to that liberty. Hold on to it. Because, beloved, if you don't hold on to it, somebody will take it from you. Remember, the, 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 the devil's assignment or job is to come and steal, to kill, and to destroy. That's his job. But Jesus, remember, don't stop there. Jesus then came and says, But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And so there's an abundant life that if you don't hold on to that abundant life, which is your, in your liberty, you, you, will, you, you will lose it because somebody will steal it. And it comes with so many areas in which you can lose that by the fleshly presentations of this spirit. Okay, but the fleshly presentation of this spirit. Now, let me give you one example of that. Remember the scripture says that when Jesus was baptized and the Holy Spirit came upon him then, then he was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to spend some time in fasting and prayer. At that place, Satan came to tempt him. At the time he had completed the 40 days fasting, the Bible said that he was hungry. Now, who wouldn't be hungry by fasting that long? Now, Satan came and said, watch this now, watch this now, presented a fleshly suggestion to him. 
fleshly suggestion and that is i quote if you are the son of god turn these stones into bread and eat if you are the son of god you see you see the presentation of satan if you are the son of god of course he was the son of god and so this this is this is a spirit presenting something that looks nice to you but is it of god is it of god that is where that dangerous that's why i use that word dangerous to you is it of god are you listening to me listen <laughs> i have learned certain things that i i'm telling you but i thank god that he he's kept me for me to know these things so now he's asking me to share that which he has taught me are you listening and so hold fast the scripture says hold fast hold fast therefore in the liberty by which christ has made us free and do not be entangled again underline that word again with a yoke of bondage don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage why because you were entangled before and that is why it was your own effort that you were trying to do to do right you were trying everything to do right yet you keep failing because in your own performance you couldn't do it so jesus therefore has to come and um, and complete that assignment or that lifestyle for you and i and then bring us into where he has left us but not alone with the holy spirit for the holy spirit to help us in this now on our dispensation okay in this dispensation that we live in so um we look at verse 13 of the same chapter 5 of galatians okay for you brethren have been called to liberty okay only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh but through love serve one another don't use the liberty as we see in in the verse one don't use it okay don't use it anyhow there you we are free people now we, it is not about performance anymore it's about you know what god what jesus has done for me and i've bought into it and i'm living so i can live anyhow no 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 all right you in other in other words don't say to yourself because jesus has wiped away your sins by his blood you can now go and continue to sin no you cannot do that it's like saying that uh, the dog you know has to go back and 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 eat his vomit god bless you uh, my my girl um um uh, now god bless you all right don't do that it is not that is not what we ought to do we ought to take our liberty all right if you are just joining us galatians chapter uh, chapter 5 we just read verse 1 and verse 13 okay don't take your liberty in christ now okay as a as an opportunity for you to just live anyhow or go back um into that bondage anymore so let me recap real quick and then we'll continue all right we are talking about the fact that the flesh and the spirit cannot coexist the law and grace cannot coexist so therefore you are in the spirit because the holy spirit is come now upon you and in you you cannot live your life in the flesh anymore and i gave you an example of the fleshly lifestyle or the fleshly presentations at the same time i've also told you that there is a, a lot of spirits a lot of spirits operating like the holy spirit and so how do you differentiate how do you know the the operation of the holy spirit and other spirit now if you don't know there are other spirits i i i i pointed um um revelations chapter 12 to you for you to go and read it you see that there are other spirits who are who are on this earth they came down here with satan with, with lucifer and operating in a in a dimension that looks ex just almost exactly like the spirit of god the holy spirit but for you to know that 
this is not the Holy Spirit talking to me or, or leading me. You must have the Holy Spirit in you. All right? You must have the Holy Spirit in you. So I, I read to you in chapter 1 of Galatians 5, uh, verse 1 of Galatians 5. Again, it says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty for which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't be entangled again. And then we look at verse 13 because of time. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity, okay, for the flesh. Don't use your liberty as an opportunity for the flesh. But through love, but through love, okay, serve one another. So be there for one another, encourage one another, and all that. Yesterday we saw um, the some of the attribute, attributes of the flesh. That is not of, of God. Okay, we saw that. Now, look at verse, um, please try to read all this. Very important for you. It's very important. Read it. Read uh, Galatians chapter 5. Now, look at verse um, 16. I say then, walk in the spirit and not in the flesh and not fulfill the, 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 um, the lust of the flesh. When you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. When you walk in the spirit, are you listening? When you walk in the spirit, you will not, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Why do you, do you not fulfill the lust of the flesh? Because the flesh and the spirit cannot coexist. The flesh of the things of this world, I mean, the things that is so easy for you. Do you know it's easy to sin? Sin is so, I mean, I'm telling you, it's so easy. It's just so easy. Easy. But narrow is the way that leads. Oh God, you know that. It's it's we got to be very careful, extremely careful now. We cannot just live our life anyhow. Are you listening? So so walk in the spirit, and when you walk in the spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. Okay, so this is very important. Uh, for look at verse um, chapter 6 of Galatians verse 8 for he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life when you sow to the flesh you will reap corruption when you sow to the spirit you will reap everlasting life watch this now when you sow to the to the flesh you will reap Whatever man sows, so shall he reap. There's no way you can sow and not reap. There's no way. Whatever any man sow, you will reap. How, how do you? Unless I mean, even if you sow on some foolish grounds, somehow, some way, you will reap it. You will reap it. It may. I mean, some. You know, everything takes time to grow. You may sow it today, but it, it, would, it may take 10 years, but it will grow. Oh, yes. Because see, scripture says that as long as the earth remains, this earth remains, seed time and harvest will never cease. Seed time. Whatever you sow, whatever you, it, whatever you sow, you can always own, only also sow a seed. Now, it could be a seed of money, a seed of love, a seed of hate, a seed of anger, a seed of unforgiveness, a seed of, of, uh, of uh, jealousy, a seed of the... So whatever you sow, so shall you reap. Are you listening? And, and scripture is telling you and I that when you sow to the flesh, you will reap corruption when you sow to the flesh. But when you sow to the spirit, you will reap everlasting life. When you sow to the spirit, you will reap everlasting life. Now, how, what, is, what is it that you sow to the spirit? Let me show you some of the things that is of the spirit, the seeds of the spirit that you can sow. The seeds of the spirit. Yesterday, I showed you some of the seeds of the flesh. And I'm going to repeat myself so that you can, you can see it. The seeds of the spirit and the seeds of the flesh. 
okay and scripture says verse 8 of uh, galatians 5 here that that whatever you sow when you sow to the flesh you will reap corruption when you sow to the spirit you will reap everlasting life are you listening so now watch this watch this now this is the seeds of the flesh for you to see if you are sowing the seeds the seeds of the flesh now look at verse 19 of galatians 5 go back to galatians 5 verse 19 now these are the seeds of the flesh and they are evident these are the seeds of the flesh adultery 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 fornication uncleanness licentiousness huh that is sexual immorality idolatry 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 sorcery all right sorcery hatred hatred contentions i mean that is that is like i said i said yesterday it's happening so much in the in the in the christian dom these days it's, it's unbelievable contentions contending with one another and and sometimes i'm wondering if if we if we do you think god will allow us there like that to go to heaven and and be contentious contentions okay jealousy jealousy jealousness jealousness these are the these are the seeds of the flesh outburst wrath outburst wrath that is <clears throat> you know that when you know what that means like i want to uh, choke them outburst all right oh watch this now selfish ambitions selfish ambitions selfish ambitions selfish ambitions all right dissensions dissensions heresies beloved i can break down distance here i want you to go take your time take your bible listen the holy spirit the the, the key here is that the holy spirit works through the word of god so if you want to differentiate the Holy Spirit and other spirits, study the word. Take time and get in the word. I'm giving you these things in here. Take your time and read the word. It will help you. Are you listening? Are you listening? Now, watch this now. Envy. I'm still giving you the seeds of the flesh. Envy. 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 Envious of other people and all that. Envy. Murders. Murder murder listen you don't have to just pull up a gun and, and kill somebody a lot i mean most of the time you you see you can kill okay with your mouth you can kill with your mouth like yesterday i shared with you that saul was killing the christians with a pen with his pen okay all right murders murders there's a lot of murders all over the place now watch this now drunkenness 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 reveries reveries okay and the like there are more for the sake of time i'm just going to give you this all right now watch this it says of which i tell beforehand just as you we are told in the past those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god those who practice the things of the flesh remember uh, verse 8 of galatians 6 says that when you sow these seeds to the flesh, you will reap corruption. You will reap corruption. But when you sow to the spirit, you will reap everlasting life. So I've given you some of the, the seeds that you can sow to the flesh for you to reap corruption. And then now I'm going to give you some of, I mean, some of the, the seeds of the spirit for which for you to sow to the spirit so that you will reap everlasting life are you listening isn't that exciting now watch this these are the fruits or the seeds of um the um um, um the fruit of the spirit verse 22 of galatians chapter 5 but these are the fruits of the spirit love love joy peace 
long suffering, huh? kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, <laughs> self control. Huh? Against such, the scripture says, there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. You see that that what, what one of the the, the seeds of the of the uh, the flesh is mentioned here, envying one another. I mean, these days it's like it's a, it's a, sometimes you I mean you wonder. I mean, it's like oh, church pastors envying one another, envying one another. This one, you know, it's like are you the one going to? Re, I mean, replace the Holy Spirit in leading everybody to heaven. Should you wonder? This one is talking against this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. That one is is by biting this one. This one is telling this one, don't go to you know his church. This one is telling, don't go to that church. And this one is saying that if you go to that church, you know you don't. I mean, it's like my goodness. Why don't you just lead them, give them the word of God, and let the Holy Spirit lead them? Because you are not to lead us into all truth, the Holy Spirit. So you see how. People have been doing the work of the Holy Spirit and they can't even do it well. Because you, you can't do the work of the Holy Spirit. Are you listening? You cannot. So these are, listen, I know this type of messages, a lot of people don't want to hear it. it because that's not what you want to hear. You want to hear something that is like, you know, making you feel good and all that. But beloved, <laughs> I, you know, I thank God that that spirit of competitive, com Competitiveness, it's not in me in this social media as to how thousands of people, uh, you know, are viewing and that kind of stuff to, <clears throat> you know, a, a friend of mine said that, um, <laughs> uh, man of God, I'm telling you, sometimes if, if you look at, you know, some of the responses you get, you wonder if God called you. Well, yes, he did. It's not about, you know, thousands and, and all that stuff, it put it even puts you in a place where, if you not it, you're not careful, the same the same praise, you know, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hosanna, people, the same people will bring you down. It's a very dangerous place for you to be. It's a very dangerous. Listen, I have been to that place. I know, I sense it in my business days. Not even in the in the spiritual atmosphere here. I'm telling you, when you are up there. You, there's more challenges for you up there. I remember um, the late um, um, Archbishop um, Benson Idahosa said something here. He said that um, the higher you go, more demons demons are assigned to you. <laughs> are you. Are you listening? So listen, I'm okay. I'm okay. Listen, if nobody even 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 came on this platform, I will still preach the word of God. And somehow, because when I do finish my work, the, the rest is the, is the work of the Holy Spirit. I am not going to be doing the work of the Holy Spirit. Gone are those days where I didn't have no sense in my head. I try to do the work of the Holy Spirit, try to be, you know, be a personal Holy Ghost to, to, to everybody. Gone are those days. I got some sense in my head to realize that, hey, boy, you cannot do the work of the Holy Spirit. Are you listening to me? You can't. And I am not going to do the work of the Holy Spirit. I finish what I have to do. Eh? And now you know what I love. Eh? Go get my ice cream, some milkshake, and just hallelujah myself. And enjoy what God is teaching me that I'm bringing to you as well. I never have a sleepless night or worrying myself. No more worried. I am not. I'm telling you. See, when you lack understanding, oh my goodness, I see the difference. You are so worried and you are so fearful and you are not free. You don't have your liberty. Liberty, you have, liberty has been given to you, but you don't even know how to enjoy it. That is why I often say that if you don't understand what you have, it cannot bless you. 
If you don't understand this, this grace dispensation, how can you enjoy this grace? And all that you do, you, you know, somebody asks you, oh, how are you doing, Sister A? Oh, by, by, by God's grace. How are you doing? Oh, by His grace. By His grace. By His grace. But yet your actions are not corresponding with what is coming out of your mouth about the grace. you really not enjoying the grace. We don't see the grace, you know, being exacted, you know, uh, with your lifestyle. You're walking with a fearful attitude. We, you are walking with a with a con, so much concern attitude, and you are talking about grace, liberty. Do you know what that means? Are you listening? So this is this is so interesting. I'm telling you, we need to understand that. So again, again, the spirit and the flesh is what I'm talking to you about today. The spirit and the flesh that they cannot coexist. They cannot. So don't try to be living in the flesh and try to be spiritual. And don't try to be spiritual on Sunday, okay? And uh, and um, and uh, be, be in the flesh um, you know, Monday through Saturday. I mean, the, the devil's booting you left for the center. Are you listening to me? All right? So now let's look at more scriptures, okay? Let's go look at more scriptures. Go with, with me now. Go with me now to the book of uh, Romans. Look at Romans chapter chapter 8 Romans chapter 8 also Romans chapter 8 hallelujah I know you've been blessed and uh, listen because I I am I am being blessed I am blessing myself with this with the with the scripture as the Holy Spirit is is um, giving me this uh, revelations to present it to you there verse 1 of Romans chapter 8 there is therefore now now no condemnation to those who are in Christ who do not walk according to the flesh. Watch this now. Watch this now. Who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. No condemnation. You see, you see some of the seeds that when you sow, the seeds of the spirit, when you sow, it brings you to the place of no condemnation. When you sow a seed of uh, to the flesh, it brings you to that place of corruption and condemnation follows you too. You are condemning yourself because, oh man, I couldn't do this. Oh man, I can't believe I did that. I, I can't believe I can. You know, it brings you to that place of condemnation. Are you listening? Now, therefore, there's no condemnation. There's no, 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 underline the word, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. According to the Spirit. According to the Spirit. When you walk according to the Spirit, man, I'm telling you, I'm, I mean, I'm feeling good. I am feeling good about this. Glory be to God. I feel good about this. Are you listening? When you walk in, in the steps and in the precepts of the Holy Spirit, glory be to God. I'm telling you, it's exciting. It, you, you feel that liberty. You feel, try, I mean, beloved, get there. Get there. I'm telling you, it has nothing to do with how much money you have in your bank account. I'm telling you this. Glory be to God. I'm serious. It has nothing to do with how much food you have in, in your refrigerator. It has nothing to do. Oh. You know, le let me share this with you. I, um, I had a dream. And um, it's like um, I came home wherever I was. And um, I, I, I saw the lock of the door open, you know, somebody's tempered with it. And I came in and I said, oh, I've been robbed. And so I started, watch this, I just, I started feeling sad. Just, just as I started feeling sad about it, I heard in my spirit, why are you feeling sad? You are not taking all that to heaven. <laughs> immediately, 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 that, that, I mean, my, my mood changed just like that. And I said, yeah, forget it. I'm not taking all that. Beloved, if you, if you, if you are called home to eternity now, 
Do you think you are you all the things you're struggling to get, you're going to take any of them? Do you think? Do you? Maybe you think you will take them, but no, you will not. Not one. You ain't going to take nothing. Oh, my goodness. Things that of the flesh that we so struggle. And so the Bible says that the flesh is constantly warring against the spirit. Now, look at verse 9, chapter 8. Chapter 8 of uh, Romans Verse 9, I just read verse 1 to you that there's no, condemn, no, no more condemnation uh, to those who, who are in Christ Jesus, who, walk, who do not walk according to the flesh, but, but to the spirit. Okay, now look at verse 9. <clears throat> but you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you, if indeed. Now, this is where you need to, you need to check the spirit that is operating in you. You need to check it. How do I check to know? By the attributes, okay, of the seeds of the of the seeds of the flesh and the seeds of the spirit, which I pointed them to you. Look, look and see. That is how you 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 will know. Okay. <clears throat> look at verse nine again. But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not of God. I didn't write it. <laughs> if anyone does not have the Spirit, eh? If, well, watch, listen. <laughs> if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, it's not of Christ. If anyone is not, if anyone, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, that person is not of God. I didn't write it. It's there. This is the inspired Word of God. If anyone. Now, if somebody wants to tell you, oh, no, I don't believe that. You, 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 receive, you receive Jesus and you are, you, 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 no, I told you this also. You need to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Okay, you need to do that. Praise God, Chandra. All right. So this is the difference between the spirit and the flesh. And the flesh is warring against, against your spirit. Okay, against your spirit. Look at verse 12. Therefore, brethren, okay, therefore, brethren, no, no, let me continue from verse 9. <laughs> verse 9. Okay, verse 9. So if you are not, verse 10 says, And if Christ is in you, okay, the body is dead because of sin. If Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But if, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. The spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit, look at verse 11. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal body through his spirit who dwells in you. All right? He will give you, the spirit will give you all that will give you life. The spirit of God will give you life. Remember that what when you sow the seeds of the flesh, you will reap corruption. When you sow the seeds of, uh, uh, of the Spirit, you will reap everlasting life. Remember that? You will reap everlasting life. And so, beloved, I come to present to you what you have to check yourself and to see where you are. Are you listening? Now, <clears throat> verse 12. <clears throat> Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. If you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you, if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as are led by the spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Hallelujah. 
But as many as are led by the Spirit, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. May I love this. Are you listening? As many as, are you, ask yourself, are you led by the Holy Spirit? Are you now therefore led by the Holy Spirit or you are led by these other spirits, okay, who came down with Lucifer in Revelations 12? Are you therefore, are you living by the Spirit? By the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, or you are living according to the directions and instructions of these other spirits. And you will, you will get to know that by the attributes of the Holy Spirit and the attributes of the flesh. Is does that make sense to you? That's right. That's that's right. Are you listening? And so, and so um we have to be very, very careful. If you watch, man, I tell you this, I tell you, if the Holy Spirit, in other words, if the Holy Spirit is not in you, you are not of God. My, 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 my. And a lot of people thinking that they are of God because they are in the choir or they are, you know, they are seven in the, in the church and uh, <clears throat> they are even standing in the pulpit preaching. And uh, without the Holy Spirit, you are not of God. Do you know that, listen, this is very serious. See, I use that word serious and dangerous with, with, without any reservation. Just imagine that the, the spirit of the enemy, the spirit of Satan, operating like the spirit of God. He knows how to imitate. He knows how to imitate it and make it so close. That is why the, the scripture says that, listen, in the last days, in these last days, all right, even the elect of God can be swayed. Even the elect, beloved, we got to be so close. I mean, so sensitive to walk with the Holy Spirit. If not, I'm telling you, you will fall for something that looks very. It looks like. Listen, have you seen? Have you seen? You know, um, 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 a BMW car. Okay, and it's it's decorated like a Mercedes Benz. Have you seen that before? <laughs> uh, I used to have a car, and uh, the features. The, listen to this carefully. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for bringing me this. For example, it you the features was it had the Mercedes Benz features, but outside. They didn't look like Mercedes Benz. It ha yes, it has. It was uh, one of those Korean cars. It has the Mercedes Benz features, but the outside did not look as Mercedes Benz. Are you getting the revelation that what I'm trying to tell you? I'm telling you that the enemy can. Sh if 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 <laughs> if. He can appear like the angel of light. What does that tell you? You are mortal, mortal being. So your 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 weapon for you to test to know and so that you cannot fall is for you to have the Holy Spirit in you. And the scripture says, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you are not of God. I didn't say that. Can I read that to you again? Can I read that to you again? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. These are the sons of God. If you are led by the Spirit of God, then you are a son of God. You are a child of God. I didn't say the scripture said. As many as are led by the Spirit. So who is leading you? Which spirit is leading is leading you? Which spirit is leading you? Beloved. You need the Holy Spirit. Now, if the Holy Spirit is also in you now, operating in you, exerting its seeds in you, then I want you to know that you are not, you are no longer, and should no longer live under any condemnation. As um, verse 1 says in uh, Romans 8, you should know you are those who walk, watch this, watch, watch this, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk 
after the flesh, but after the spirit. There's no condemnation. Don't condemn yourself. If the, I mean, the Holy Spirit is work. When he's in you, he's working. He keeps working in you and tearing off all these attributes of the flesh. Attributes of the flesh. So allow the Holy Spirit to do that. So you will come fully into where God wants you to be. Are you listening to me? Go with me to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, let's look at some one or two more scriptures and I'll let you go for the day. All right? 1 Corinthians. Glory be to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. All right? Let me show you some. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 12. All right, First Corinthians, the 12th chapter. Are you there? If you are not there, say, Pastor, wait for me. If you are there, let's read. <laughs> All right, verse 1, okay? Now, concerning the spiritual things, verse 1, concerning spiritual things, Paul is speaking to you and I now. Brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. This is very important. Okay, you know that you were Gentiles carried away to those dumb idols. However, you were led. Therefore, I made known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Do you see the revelation here? No one can say that except by the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Spirit, remember what Jesus says, that when the Holy Spirit in Matthew, he said, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will, he will say the things that he sees me doing. He will, he will, he will, he will, he will reveal me. All right. He will proclaim. That's a word. He will proclaim me to you. Hmm? Beloved, this is very important. If you are a believer, if you are a child of God, then you must have this understanding and uh, to know that it is no longer about just following the crowd because everybody is going there so you are going there do you think that the name of the church makes any difference to the gate opening for you to go to heaven no it's about your understanding and application of the word of god for you to be in alignment of the plan of God for you, your life on this earth. I am not detesting church. I'm a pastor of a church. But I want you to know that what I'm teaching you is what I teach the church. So that I will not have any problem, okay, if I don't see you in church. I know that the word of God is in you. Wherever you go, it's in you. When God comes for his church, he is not coming for those who are in this particular building. Are you listening to me? Don't let us twist this thing around. That when God comes, he's coming for, for the, you know, um, the, the church of this, uh, the church of that. And the church of this and the church. No, it's coming for the church of God. And these are you and me. Wherever we find ourselves. Wherever. I mean, I used to, I used to get up. I used to get upset with some people if I don't see them in church. <laughs> I used to know that. Oh no, I'm telling, I'm confessing to you. But does it you think does it matter anymore to me? No. What matters to me the most is for you to receive the word. And so maybe if I may be, you know, um, not, not having a little challenge with you that I don't see you in church, it's because you are not coming to receive the word. But if you have come to receive and you know you got it and you know, listen, go and teach somebody else. Go and teach somebody else. Are you listening? Because you and I are to spread the gospel are to preach the gospel the gospel was was jesus didn't didn't say that only preachers have to preach the gospel in matthew chapter um 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 is it the last book of matthew what is that verse chapter 28 matthew chapter 28 
12 verse 28, I said, let me, hold, let me go, let me take you there. Oh, glory be to God. I want you to show you something here. You stay with me with Matthew, all right? Let's see something in the book of Matthew, the last book of Matthew. Chapter 28, I said 8. Chapter 28. Look at chapter 28 of Matthew, all right? Look at verse 19. Verse 19. Okay, verse 19. Take one step, verse 18. Take one step. All right, take one step. Oh, glory be to God. You want to take two more steps back? That will make it more exciting. 16. <laughs> Matthew chapter 28 verse 16. I'm going to leave you with this one. All right? Verse, verse 16. Matthew 28 verse 16. Watch this now. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee to the mountains which Jesus had appointed for them. And when they saw him, okay, Jesus told them to meet them. And when they saw him, they worshipped. They worshipped him. Okay, but some doubted. <laughs> then Jesus came and, and spoke to them. <clears throat> Watch this now, saying, this is Jesus. All authority, authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. All right? In heaven and on earth, verse 19, that is where my, the punchline is. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. William. And of the Holy Spirit. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, not some of them, all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The, te the teaching and the preaching and, and, uh, and of the gospel was, is not just for preachers. It's for you. For you. Go. Go. That is why, listen, I am so glad about the, um, the social media now. Don't use the social media for, for nonsense. All right? Thank God for those who have this mindset and idea of, uh, you know, creating this social media. All right? Bless them. Bless them with this idea. Bless them with this idea that it's, it's helping. It's to share. If, listen, just imagine that you don't have thousands of dollars to buy an air ticket to go to... Um, you know, some far away country to preach the gospel. This is a platform for you to use that. Teach and preach the gospel all over, all, every nation, the Bible says. Every nation. And right now, right as I'm talking to you now, there are people watching me from India. Mary John just came on it from India. She's watching. Praise the Lord to you. I have somebody from, um, from Pakistan. I have somebody watching from from Venezuela and and all that some in Ghana Africa are you listening use this platform to teach the gospel preach the gospel I believe I listen I'm, I'm telling you if you don't understand this you will be calling yourself a Christian and uh, living in the flesh the most dangerous place you want to be the most dangerous place the scripture tells you and i that as many as are led by the spirit of god are the sons of god these are the sons of god as many who are led by the spirit not the flesh not the flesh. I gave you the attributes of the flesh for you to seed yourself. The seeds of the flesh. The seeds of the flesh. And also the seeds of the spirit. And the scripture says that if you sow the seeds of the, the flesh, you will reap corruption. But if you sow the seed of the spirit, you will reap everlasting life. So beloved, I also want to just recap 
to your understanding that there's the Holy Spirit is what we're talking about. The Holy Spirit and the flesh, the law and the grace, they cannot coexist. And so you have to check yourself if you are a Christian. If you are not a Christian, then make up your mind. Are you listening? Look at the scripture. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, these are the children of God. Do you want to be a child of God? Do you want to be a child of God? To be led by the Spirit. Well, the first place is for you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I told this young man last week, I said, I'm not going to force it on you. You have to make that decision yourself. Jesus never forced himself on anybody. Yesterday I brought this, you know, this thing, you know, to, to you. Do, do you realize why Jesus didn't go out to every hospital to heal the sick? And even those who he met physically or those who they brought to him, he always asked them, what do you want me to do for you? I didn't used to understand that. That Jesus, I mean, what's up with you? Don't you see that these people are blind and you're asking them, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want? Yes, because God has given each and every one of us the free will. The scripture says, today when you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. I told the young man last week, I said, you have the choice. He, he, you know, he, he was, he, he wanted to, bapt want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. But he has first not given his life to Jesus. Well, we have the Holy Spirit because Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. Beloved, when you have the Holy Spirit, you will not have the desires of the flesh. So that you don't sow. We are sowing, oh, beloved, we are sowing. We sow to the flesh. Or we sow to the spirit. When we sow to the flesh, we reap, we reap corruption, the scripture says. When we sow to the spirit, we reap everlasting life. Where do you want to sow today? Where do you want to sow? And scripture says, finally, those who are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Or they are the children of God. In the, context, in the context of this scripture, sons are the people or the children of God. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Are you led by the Spirit or you are living by the flesh? Because the flesh and the Spirit, they cannot coexist. So beloved, if you want to be a child of God, to be led by the Spirit in every area of your life, remember Jesus says, when the Holy Spirit comes, He will lead you into all, not some, every area of your life. Holy Spirit is not only to, to be with you on Sundays. Monday when you're going to work, Tuesday you are going to work, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if you are going to school, if you are in school, in your marriage, in your educational, you know, in your socioeconomic life, in your financial life. Every area of your life, the Holy Spirit is with you and He will lead you and help you. And again, let me tell you, there are other spirits. So you need to know which spirit is leading you because these spirits, again, if you can see them in Revelation chapter 12, they came down with Lucifer, Satan. They were fallen angels who have become demons. And there are spirits all over the place. There's a lot of voices going on. Which voice are you listening to? If the Spirit of God is in you, He will lead you into all truth. Beloved, this is the most, the most dangerous time. The reason is, if you are not careful, and like Jesus says, to test all spirit, you will see something that looks very close to that which you think is God, but it's not of God. It's not God. If the devil even appears like the angel of light, like the devil appears 
like the angel of light. Beloved, then you know. Then you know. If the devil appears like the angel of light, then you should know. That is very, very dangerous for you to just live your life anyhow without knowing where you are treading. And so let me lead you right now if you want to give your life to Jesus, to make him your Lord and Savior. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard this word and now I know that I need you than never before. I want to be a child of God. I want to be led by your spirit that you send to us, to this world. And so I receive you as my Lord and Savior. By faith, I, I, I open up my faith right now to receive you. Forgive me of my sins. That I understand you shed your blood. And so I believe that you shed your blood to wipe away my sins. And now I am no longer a sinner. So I believe it and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Take absolute control over my life. And now let me pray with you right now for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I cannot lay my hands on you because I'm far away from you. But receive the Holy Spirit by faith. And don't stop inviting him into your life. Talk to him. He will not force himself on you. He is not, like I always say, he's not a rapist. The Holy Spirit is not a rapist. He will come and he will lead you. He will empower you. You will do things that you couldn't do before. That's what he does. Look at what look at look at the disciples. They couldn't heal the sick. But when the Holy Spirit came upon them, all right, they could even raise the dead. Peter raised the dead, Dorcas. Oh yeah. Jesus did that. Because Jesus had the Holy Spirit. And so now let me pray for you for the Holy Spirit, for the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Just receive it with your, you know, lift up your most holy faith right now to receive the Holy Spirit with your eyes closed so that you don't get distracted by anybody. Father, I pray right now. Come on, receive it right now. I pray right now for the Holy Spirit. Come upon your people. Receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Move over your people right now. They are desiring you. Consume them right now. Possess them. Oh, they, they love to be with you. They love to walk with you, Holy Spirit. We want you. Receive the Holy Spirit, beloved. Receive the Holy Spirit. Come on, open your mouth and say, I receive it. Receive it by faith. Receive him. Receive him right now. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, just, just be with your people. Holy Spirit, be with your people. Be with them. Be with them. Baptize them. Holy Spirit, baptize them. Baptize them. Baptize them right now. Baptize them. Holy Spirit, baptize them right now. Wherever they are under the sound of my voice. Beloved, receive the Holy Spirit. Be received. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, you feel like speaking. Uh, open your mouth and speak it. That is a language of the Holy Spirit. Nobody should hit you on your head for you to receive it. That's what you are feeling right now is the Holy Spirit. Receive Him. Receive Him right now. Yes, receive the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, bless them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, this is it. This is it. This is it. The rest of the of the day, just just welcome him. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Whatever you heard in your spirit, okay, in that something, you know, like we, you know, it's like I don't understand. You don't need to understand. You don't need to understand. That's the, the language of the Holy Spirit. And he will lead you. Bible said that when we speak in that unknown tongue, we speak mysteries. 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 We speak mysteries. Are you listening to me? We speak mysteries. So receive the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And begin to live a life that you are going to see yourself in that liberty. As we scripture is saying to us in Romans 8. Hold fast 
and don't let it go. I want you to know that I love you. And there's nothing you can do about that. No, you can't do anything about it. All right. So again, uh, I'm leaving you now. This is where I'm drawing the curtain for the day. I believe you have received the word. But please, if you were late in coming, it's very important that you, you just go to the Facebook, Patrick Quino Ministries, and re just, just replay it. It will help you. It will help you. Are you listening? It will help you for you to increase. Faith Moment, it's a platform to bring your faith alive. That you walk, you walk with no fear. You will live with no fear. Ha! Ah, do me a favor. Share this broadcast to everyone. Share it to your friends and all. Listen to it first. If you think it's worth sharing, share it. Listen to it first. All right? So that, um, you know, you, you, you stand for what you are believing or you share it. Listen to it first and share it to all your friends, your loved ones, even your enemies. Share it to them. If you know anybody who is your enemy, share it to them. All right? The Spirit of God will change them and make them better people. That is what God wants. God don't want nobody to go to hell. He wants everybody to go to heaven with him. Jesus said, you remember, he says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it wasn't true, I wouldn't tell you, he says. So when he comes back, he's no longer coming concerning our sins, but he's coming for the reason of our salvation. And so, beloved, if you have given your life to Jesus, I want you to also get yourself a you know, Bible if you don't have one, okay, so that you will stay and be reading. And if you don't have a, a place, maybe you are so disgruntled with church, you know, because of the, listen, in, in church, everybody, everybody have issues. <laughs> everybody, like yourself. Don't think that the people in church, people are, are in, you know, angels without no fault. No, everybody, have, the Holy Spirit is still working. It's still working. It's still, if I, if I'm telling you, I look back and I see how the Holy Spirit is, is, is brought me so far. I'm telling you, I couldn't do this on my own. It's not the work of your flesh. You cannot. You cannot. Allow the Holy Spirit to take over and uh, work in you. All right? I see yourself as onions. I always use this. Onions have so many layers. You, you see that when you peel one side of the, you know, the outer side, there's another level. And if you peel that one too, there's another level. All right? That's who we are in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Okay, on all those levels are the, the seeds of the flesh, okay, or the skins of the flesh. And the Holy Spirit keeps, you know, tearing it off a little at a time. It, it's not one day event. It's not one day event, a little at a time. And as, and as we get into, you know, the deeper side of the onions, you see that it's pure. It's nice. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. And um, he's doing that in me and um, allow him to do that in you as well it's so excited are you I, can you see in my face i'm just excited i'm telling you i mean because it's a joy it's it's an undescribable joy that it's just bubbling from my inside like somebody would say from my inside undescribable joy it's exciting and i'm so grateful that god kept me alive they wish my death, but God kept me alive that I may understand his word and present it to you. This broadcast, this segment, my, this ministry, it's not the one that will let you jump. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And, you know, it's like, okay, you got to release that big offering. <laughs> we don't get big offerings here, but it would be nice to get it. Like, as you know, I told you that uh, we want to get this, this, um, equipment that will bring you know uh, will even give you you know the viewer um, a portion a window so that you can put in your comments and you can do all the things in it at the same time while you know the uh, the the teaching is going on and so we need to buy that and um, I've asked you to freely freely donate or contribute to it freely all right you give to God because you love him all right, don't give to God because of compulsion. Somebody's trying to 
tell you that you, if you don't give, God will not bless you. No, it's not true. It's not true. No, God, God loves a cheerful giver. You give to him, you give to your children because you love them. Or you give to your spouse, you know, you, because you love her or you love him. So you give to the things of God because you love God. It's not about compulsion. And God is not blessing you or will not bless you just because you don't give. No. And so we understand the word and trust that for your love concerning the things of God. Okay, so that we can expand this broadcast, you are given. So if, if, if you feel in your heart you want to do that, you can go to the website of this ministry, www.patrickquenuministries.com. You will see a button that says Donate. You can click on it and uh, use your PayPal. All right? And, um, or if you want to use a cash app, you can also use this number, 914 plus, plus 914 five seven two nine eight one six and um, you can use a cash app if you want to that's no force nobody is pushing you to do that no but i want you to know that this is a good grounds to sow it's a good grounds to sow because the word that is coming to you is for your practical day life daily life and living it has nothing to do with church but it has everything to do with your salvation and your your enjoyed liberty life on this earth until Jesus appear well if you go to the website there's all that information there where you can reach us as well share the broadcast listen to it first and share this it will be a blessing be a blessing to somebody and so the same time until I come your your way same time again I want you to know that you don't have no trouble all you have and all you need is your faith in God. And in all thy getting, get understanding.